Yo, what's up everybody? It's yours truly, Mr. Lang, Team Wash Life, here with the squad. We got Devin over here. What's up? We got our cameraman, Colt. Colt Dow. Um, we're doing a long overdue organization of all of our parts, our fittings. Lately, they've just been in five gallon buckets and we're digging through them, trying to find stuff. I'm done with it. So we're going through, we're creating labels with our label maker. We're categorizing everything. Um, it's not the funnest, but we're getting it done. So I wanted to make a video though, real quick, of exactly how to create a soft wash gun. This might be dumb for people who are experienced, but this is this this could be confusing. I remember when I first started, I was like, man, where do you, how do you even get the fittings and how do you do that? How do you make make it happen? It's it can be overwhelming. So come a little closer and follow me. So I even I even jotted down. I'm gonna go step by step so you can literally build the same thing, okay? So, you of course need your J-Rod with the proper tips, of course. I can't tell you exactly because we're all going to have different style machines. If you have a 7 gallon a minute, you'll you, you get the, uh, the fitting that I have, which is 4030, 2 5 and whatever, zero, zero, probably, I think it's zero, 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 or zero, zero whatever. Um, so you get the J-Rod that you need. So here's, here's where it gets a little more in depth. So you need a quarter inch quick connect male. What that means is the threat, you need the threads. You don't want the female. So you need a quarter inch quick connect stainless steel male then this part here is called a reducing bushing so the thread the male thread is half inch so it can screw into this and inside there is going to be a quarter inch so you want a half inch by a quarter inch reducing bushing okay so that way it all you could screw it in screw it in this is a street elbow, that's the design, the bend, half inch. Um, and then we got, you know, you get your pipe of choice. Some guys like just the pistol grip, some guys make very variations of guns. Um, some, you know, just like power washing, you have the long ones, the short ones, the medium ones. So you get your extension of choice. These are, they, they come half inch. It would screw right into the gun, okay? And then at the base of the gun, we're going to have a half inch to three eighths reducer. So the half inch screws in, and then this is a three eighths reducer. So now we've conform we've turned the half inch to three eighths. So now we can take a male quick connect three eighths. These are the larger size, so we don't lose too much flow, right? And screw that in to there. Okay, that's where the plug, this is where, this is a plug, again you get a male plug, male threads, 3 8 plug, stainless steel, you always want stainless steel because you're going to be spraying a lot of chem through here, so the stainless steel is going to hold up a lot better than brass. We need another, we need our uh, ball valve, so threaded, a half inch ball valve, threaded on both ends, another one of our reducing bushings half inch to three eighths. So now we've turned this into a three eighths hole. This is where our plug is gonna screw in, right? And then the other side of the ball valve, half inch to a five eighths hose barb because we we're connecting to a, a hose, a five eighths size hose. So let's see, of course I'm going to go through, tape everything um, you know, nice and tight so it's all sealed, but I'm just kind of throwing it together so you can see what it looks like. Okay, and then let's go over to the, we'll even pop this in, let's go over to the van real quick. And 
and then you'll do this. So this is something to really keep in mind. So you see how nice this setup is? So now when we're, when we're done, we can pop our gun off, store it somewhere, and we only have this. We could use the ball valve if we ever needed to. Uh, we can shut it off when it's not in use so that nothing's dripping, say our O-rings are failing, so we're gonna have drips, you know, we're in the field. Um, keep this video, keep this in mind if you ever go, decide to go to PressureTech.com and purchase one of those kits. I mean, there's a lot of websites selling the soft wash kits. It's three, four, or five hundred bucks. Comes with the pump, um, your hose, and they even have the soft wash gun. But it's a very basic setup and fittings. All they're going to give you is the gun, the J rod, the gun, and at the very bottom, instead of all this, they're literally only going to give you the half inch um, male thread to the 5 8 hose bar right at the bottom of the gun. So the problem with that is once you hook this all up, your gun's just stuck on there, right? So when you reel it up, you got your gun hanging off. It's, you got to find a spot to put your gun once it's all reeled up. Um, if, if anything's leaking, it's going gonna, it's gonna to just drip out on you because you don't have a ball valve to shut it off. I'm telling you, you want to take some extra time, spend a little bit extra money, get the proper fittings, and do this right. If you follow this video exactly, you'll be able to build this, ex you know, exactly how I did it. And uh, it's not that expensive. Really try to avoid just buying a whole bunch of parts and hoping for the best. Um, you know, we keep a lot of spare parts on hands, but we collected them over time. But you really just want to try to focus on buying what you need. And uh, there you go. So I hope that video helps. Make sure you like, subscribe. Comment below if you have any better ideas on how you do your guns. This seems like a perfect Go ahead and for us. screenshot Talk this if you if it makes sense, if it helps you. Half inch stainless steel quick connect male, half inch to a quarter inch reducer, half inch female by half inch female street elbow. That's what gave us the little bend in our gun. Half inch pipe to the soft wash gun of choice. So the pipe just is the extension. Soft wash trigger gun of choice. There's a lot out there. Um, half inch to a 3 8 reducer, the reducing bushing, bushing I showed you. 3 8 quick connect by a 3 by 3 8 plug. Make sure it's stainless steel and make sure both of them are the male version. You don't want female. Um, half inch to 3 8 reducer again that's going to screw into the half inch ball valve. So we need the half inch threaded, threaded ball valve by, and then we need a half inch by five eighths hose barb fitting, which usually comes with those kits. You at least get that little, the little, uh, this one, half inch thread, five eighths hose barb. All right. I hope that helps. Take care.